abundance there is abundance in the world for me given by the bountiful hand of omnipotence i gratefully claim and accept all the supply for my needs the old idea of orthodox prayer was that of supplication and begging i have spent a whole night at a time begging for a few pennies and supplicating for the salvation of others what waste of energy each time that we send up such a weak supplication as the attitude of a beggar with the timid, frightful thoughts that only a beggar's mind can have, this condition of mind cross-circuits the power to bring into our lives the very things we most desire. When the beggar extends his hand for a copper, he knows that not everyone who passes is going to give him a coin. He therefore solicits more or less mechanically, with a mind not positive or sure. His hand is extended in timidity and weakness. Now and then he gets a coin from a sympathetic passerby. The same principle holds true for the man who prays in the old orthodox fashion. He utters his petitions with doubts and misgivings, with timidity and wonderings. Some of his prayers are answered, just as the occasional coin is cast to the beggar. But most of the orthodox prayers sent up in the fashion of begging and supplicating are never answered. Of necessity they cannot be, because the concentration is filled with fear and trembling. Only by positive and courageous thinking do we attract to ourselves the answers to our prayers. When we are permeated with the spirit of doubt, our petitions are cross-circuited. Therefore, in making your affirmation this time, rest assured that the abundant spirit of the universal supply has everything you need and has it now. You have only to put your mind in a condition to receive. You do not have to beg the sun for its rays, nor God for his love. It is there for the taking. Many of us keep the sunshine of abundance out of our lives by pulling down the curtain of doubt, just as we may go into a room, pull down a shade, and keep out the sun. James Russell Lowell, 75 years ago, told us the same story in The Vision of Sir Lawnful when he said that, Heaven is given away, and God may be had for the asking. By gratefully accepting all of the supply for your needs, you are running up the shade of positive faith and letting the sunlight of abundance in. Send out the desire for your supply to the universal mind and then rest, feeling that it has been acquired. Of course, the stronger you concentrate without stress and strain, and the more positive and courageous your concentration, the stronger will be your mental thought currents, and consequently the quicker your demonstration. Omnipotence has provided for me and mine. I raise the shade of my faith and let in the sunlight of abundance. I know I do not have to beg for this, for it is mine now. When first I saw the light of day, the bountiful spirit of the Father made all preparations for my life's necessities and pleasures. They have been in the world since I was born. I now claim and accept my supply. From now on the spirit goes before me, making easy and prosperous all my ways, and I have abundance for every need. From the bountiful hand of omnipotence I have abundant health, I have abundant love, I have abundant prosperity. I have abundant peace. My Father careth for the grass of the field and the birds of the air, and He careth for me. I realize it. Think it and live it now. Abundance for all my needs is mine, now and forever.